Hey, hey, friends. Uh, uh, there's this book <laughs> called uh, Get Rich, Lucky Bitch. If any of you have read it, uh, high five. I actually have not read the whole thing, but um, must have been about two years now ago now. I was painting my daughter's room and some, well, she was doing most of the painting because she's amazing. Um, but some of my closest friends were really into that book so I thought why not listen to it while I work right it's a perfect time to listen to stuff so one of the concepts that stuck out for me most in that book I wouldn't say it was like a transformative game-changing book for me but it was fascinating and interesting and I learned a lot there's one concept that stuck out the most to me though and she just talked about letting go of caring why one thing is working or or which one thing is working which one thing is not and sort of doing that like scientific deduction of like is it the massage that's healing my in the inflammation in my back or is it the diet that's healing the inflammation in my back or is it the um journaling work about my emotions that's healing the inflammation in my back um or is it the physical therapy instead of like getting all hung up in that just throw everything at it just throw everything at it and who cares what worked do you really care what worked if it works um and in her you know the book is called get rich lucky bitch so it was certainly about making money and all of her um approaches and all of her resources and all of her coaching and all of her uh activities to create wealth and you know she said like I don't know what worked and what didn't work I just threw everything at it and I think that's what works if I'm being if I'm being honest um what I've seen in myself and other people is that when we hung up on like I'm gonna try this one thing and if it works yada 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 if it doesn't work I'll try the next thing and I think that is just like the complete wrong message to send to the universe to God to yourself to um, everyone who's watching you Uh, that message says like I'm gonna isolate it out and I'm gonna start to try to control it and I'm gonna um, be really critical of the results and what really works is just taking a leap and going i don't know how it's gonna work but it's gonna work and i'm gonna throw everything at it and so i want to use an example in my own life right now um i have had an incredible year 2018 has been amazing in terms of me taking some different shifts and leaps in my life and it's really been a process of throwing a lot of stuff um, into the mix which uh, some would say takes away from focus but when you're talking about healing work and changing stories and making uh, energetic shifts in your life you really gotta just dig in and try everything and not care what works so I have never had any shamanic work done I've always been sort of curious about it I'm always curious about all these modalities there isn't a modality I don't think that I wouldn't try I try everything I've always been really curious about shamanic work and um, I ended up doing a barter with someone um, to sort of like play with that go like or let's see what happens so I've been doing that I've been doing an intense amount of feng shui with um, a business partner and friend Jen Heilman I have been doing an a crazy amount of self coaching so sort of coaching myself through what I know to work through my own why work through my own um, like the the power of thought I've been doing self coaching through Brooke Castillo's work in self coaching scholars I then just had an incredible massage recently I was dealing with some shoulder pain and um, and she just allowed me to, to release and process and um, it wasn't just a massage it was a deep transformational mind body craziness experience because I'd been throwing all this other stuff at my growth and change and it was 
the massage um that sort of brought a lot of it to light but how, would the massage have done that on its own would i say like oh it was the massage that made the biggest shift no because <laughs> I was doing so much other work that that kind of just pulled together a lot of the pieces. It pulled together the pieces and like everything started clicking. And I've noticed a really big shift since that. But if I had said, I'm going to try the shamanic work and see what happens. And then I'll evaluate and I will try the self-coaching work and I'll see what happens. And then I will evaluate and I'll try the feng shui work. Like... I would be months out and probably have made no progress. Instead, I was just like, things have got to change. There's really big stuff coming for me, for all the people who choose to participate in what I'm sharing with the world. There's good stuff coming. Um, There's good stuff happening right now. And if I had decided to like just lengthen out that process and not just throw everything at it and go this is changing and it's changing in a really intense powerful beautiful way ASAP um I wouldn't be having the shifts I'm having right now I wouldn't be feeling what I'm feeling right now um my marriage has been improved my relationship with my children has been improved my home is like becoming this beautiful space again that I want to spend time in I'm getting all these crazy business ideas and taking action and moving forward Um, I'm getting a lot of clarity about letting things go releasing things that um, that even things that I love that I just it's time to move on from and it's just been amazing so that's my message to you um, and maybe that's what I will title this throw everything at it because if you really want things to change you have to take the leap and you have to just try everything and I know there's my scientific the scientific friends among us who are like really resistant to that not knowing what worked um when I was really into I'm still incredibly passionate about medicinal mushrooms but it is not my full-time focus to share those with the world I take them every day I can't imagine my life that's another thing I've upped my consumption of medicinal mushrooms which has made a huge shift in my mood in my health in my um spiritual experience no they're not psychedelic (laughs) and um so just one more thing I've been throwing at it really heavy in a way that I don't normally um Shoot, I sort of lost my train of thought on that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it was. But my message to you is throw everything at it. Don't be afraid to just go all in. And don't be... And it's not something I've done on my own. Like, I have Brooke guiding me through the self-coaching scholars work. I have Jen guiding me through the feng shui work. I have really close friends who are willing to hear my craziness and process with me. I have some amazing barters going on with really incredible women. Um, this isn't work that you can really do alone. Another favorite mentor of mine, Claire Pearson, says that we are herd animals and we're not meant to do this alone. So make sure you have a tribe of people. If you don't like the word tribe, a community, a network, um, a sisterhood, whatever you want to call it. Um, make sure you're not doing this work alone because it's not going to be as effective. Even just, I could give you all of the tools and resources and information I have learned and that I use in my coaching practice, and it wouldn't have the same effect on you as it does when I'm in a one-on-one coaching session with someone. I've done group coaching sessions that are awesome, but they're not the same when you're really in it with somebody or connecting with somebody and choosing growth and progress. So get out there, throw everything at it, and let me know how it goes.